Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So as you can see at the moment, I'm just removing some makeup that I had on my skin um, that I had had earlier on that day. And I'm just moisturizing my lips and then I'm just touching up my brows. I did have some mascara, my eyebrows and a little bit of concealer on today, just as like a natural everyday face to go run errands, but I'm now gonna change it up for you. So I'm first going in with my Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm just carving out my eyebrow and I'm also going to be applying this all over my eyelid and also patting it to set this product in position. Then going in with a blending brush, I'm just blending out those harsh edges just so there is no harsh lines in this makeup look. I'm then going to highlight my brow bone using nylon eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics and I'm also going to apply a little bit on the inner corner, however I do end up covering this bit up anyway. So I'm now just taking a few um, sort of contour shades, I'm really sorry this shot is off camera. But I'm just basically using this as my transition colour. So I'm just buffing this into my crease. And then I'm going in with Bitter Eyeshadow from MAC. And I'm just going to blend this lower. Still in my crease, but just lower than those bronzing shades. And as you can see, I'm just gradually building up that colour and also applying it to the outer corner. And then going back in with the bronzing shade just to make sure that I don't miss any of my colours and mix them all together and create a muddy look. Then taking Electric Eel, I'm just going to start building up that colour even further. So... I wasn't quite sure how this look was going to turn out, but I really loved how it turned out when it all mixed together with the green. And like I said, I'm just going back in with the bronze and also that green shade, just to make sure that everything is really blended nice and smoothly. Again, I've just taken this colour lower than that green bitter shade. So I'm now going back in with my concealer and I'm now going to carve out my eyelid. So I'm going to create a sort of rounded half moon shape on my eyelid to the outer corner. And then on the inner corner I'm going to create a sort of straight-ish line so we get a really nice elongated cut crease shape. So I've now moved on to this eye. Somehow I managed to delete the footage so I, that's why I've had to cut between both eyes. But I thought it would be easier for you to see most on this eye. And then after I've patted that to set that concealer product, I'm just buffing out that edge with that same electric eel shade. And again, going back in with that green just to make sure everything is really nice and blended. For the lid colour today, I'm going to create a nice ombre from the green to a white. So I'm going in with white satin from Max Factor. I'm just pressing it on the inner corner. I'm then taking vanilla pigment from MAC and I'm taking and passing that in between the green and that white shade. And then I'll be going back in with that bluey electric eel shadow and just buffing that edge just to create a nice effortless blend. For my liner today, I am using a Barry M Loose Pigment and I'm Ila Masca Dura Line and I'm just creating a liquid liner consistency. I'm just lining my lashes in a very thin line, just ever so slightly making it thicker on the outer edge, creating a sort of wedge shape. I'm then just going to coat my lashes with a little bit of mascara just to cover up any shadow that's already landed on the mascara I had on from earlier. And then I'm going to be applying these H151s from Eldora False Eyelashes. I'm just applying them as close to the lashes and you can see I'm just nipping my natural and my false lashes together. I'm just removing any fallout and just cleaning up my skin. To keep my eyes nice and bright, I'm going in with my Milk Jumbo Pencil from NYX Cosmetics. I'm just taking this on a liner brush and just applying it to my lower waterline. I'm then going back in with my Select Cover Up Concealer and I'm just buffing this underneath my eyes to create a nice base for my lower shadow and I'm also just blending out that inner corner so it's not as harsh. For my lower lash line, I'm basically just copying what I have done up on the top lie lid. So I've first gone in with my bronzer, I'm then going in with that bitter light green shade and then I'll be going in with that blue electric eel shade. And again, I'll just be going back through those colours just to create a really nice blend. I've then just touched up the white liner if I've got any of that green shadow on it. 
I'm then going in with my face concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. And I'm just buffing this underneath my eyes. I'm also buffing it around the eyeshadow just to neaten that all up. And also just to create a base to now add like our base to. So I'm already sort of starting to conceal. And then when I apply the foundation, it gives a really nice, smooth, seamless look. And also I'm gonna be adding some Vaseline and some glitter to the lower lash line. So I'm taking some Vaseline on a Q-tip and then I'm taking a mixture of um, glitters. There is a sort of teal, a silver and like an iridescent clear glitter in this set. It just came from um, New Look, I believe. And I've just patted it on a sort of triangular, upside down triangular shape from my um, lower lash line. I then just coated my bottom and top lashes with some mascara and then I'm moving on to my skin. So today I want to create quite a luminous base, so I'm using my Lumi Drops from Gosh, and I am using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation, just mixing them together and then just applying them onto my skin. Seal and highlight my skin a little further using the same NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. I'm using these in Chantilly and Vanilla, just a mixture of the two. And I'm just blending them into my skin using patting motions with my Real Techniques contour brush. And then to blend out all those hard areas, so around the brows and around the nostrils and the mouth, I'm just using a small blending brush. And then just going back in with my foundation brush and just patting it over the edges so to make sure that it is all blended smoothly and there are no sort of definition marks between the concealer and the foundation. It is just one, just varying shades. To add a little iridescent glimmer, I'm just going in with this highlighter from MUA and I'm using that as my inner corner highlight and also on my Cupid's bow. I'm then going in with their pink shimmer version of the highlighter and I'm just highlighting my skin with this. So I'm applying it to tops of my cheekbones, on top of the arch of my brow, down my nose and also on any areas where I want the light to catch. I'm then going back in with the bronzing shades that I actually used on my eyes earlier and I'm now contouring my skin. I'm hollowing out the cheekbones and also trying to diminish the size of my forehead by going up around my hairline. Again, I'm going back in with my foundation brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines. And again, everything is just smooth and there is no sort of real definition. It's just the color changing gradually. Moving on to my lips, I'm going in with this Caramel Nougat Lip Liner from Emmy Way again and I'm just lining my outer line of my lips and I'll also be filling in the outer corners before applying a lipstick to the middle. For the lipstick combination today, I'm using Creme de Nude from MAC and I'm topping it with a gloss, I think it's Shimmer of Hope from um, Gerard Cosmetics or Whitening Lightning and I'm just patting that on and then I've also gone back in with that iridescent highlighter that I use with that blue tone to it and I'm just applying that on to my lips to give it a nice dimension and also tying it in with the eyes. I've then just gone through my brows with some eyebrow gel just to make sure they last all day. And here is the completed look. I really hope you love this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this then please subscribe and I will see you in my next video.